talk to you briefly about personality. I'm going to use the reference of a, of a Myers-Briggs uh, personality type because that's what I use mostly. Uh, but uh, there are many others, um, and uh, they're great. Uh, do the one that makes sense to you. But importantly, dig in below the surface. For instance, I, I, I am a INTJ. Uh, what does that mean? Oh, great, I'm an INTJ. Well, it means a lot. It means a ton about how I understand myself and how others interact with me. Uh, and understanding that is critical in how I function in my relationships as well as how I function at work. So I want to briefly cover each of the letter groups, uh, uh, introverted versus extroverted. Uh, uh, most people think, oh, well, that's a, a boisterous e extroverts or highly energetic, uh, highly uh, 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 involved, very active, very sometimes loud. Uh, but that's really not truth. Um, uh, introvert versus extrovert is all about how you get your energy. Uh, introverts get their energy from going away from people, uh, drawing back and going and finding ways to recharge their batteries. Uh, extroverts, on the other hand, get their energy from other people. Therefore, it's bad for an introvert to be in a job scenario where they never get to engage with other people. It's not healthy, it's not good for you, if you're an extrovert, to not have opportunities to engage with other people in meaningful conversations sometimes not meaningful conversation as an extrovert, just conversation. Uh, uh, and introverts, on the other hand, you need some space to go away and be quiet. Doesn't mean you shouldn't interact with people, that's part of life. But you wanna find a way that in your regular routine, in your daily and weekly routine, as an introvert, you're finding a way to charge your batteries. Um, the N or S, uh, uh, intuitor or sensor. Uh, that is that is how you process. It's a little bit more about how you th think. Uh, an intuitor kind of explains itself. Uh, you you walk into a situation, you read the room, you see what is going on, and you make a decision based on the data that you see and experience fairly quickly. Uh, you're quicker to make decisions. Uh, but intuitors also are very open to hearing new information and changing their opinion about, about what they see and feel and experience. Uh, sensors are always looking for more data slower to decisions. Um, and, and I always want to always emphasize multiple, multiple times, there is no good and bad in any of these. It's just who we are. And we're just understanding who we are. Uh, we're, we're not trying to be any of these things. We are these things. You can fight against it, but it is who you are. So a sensor, for instance, needs more data. What, what's the difference in that in the context of work or relationship? Well, a sensor is always going to bring new data to the conversation and bring more facts and more information. Uh, an intuitor is uh, in a jam when you need a quick decision. Uh, an intuitor is great to have because they're able to quickly analyze data and make a decision and move ahead. Uh, but we're, we're, as an intuitor, we're prone to uh, making decisions that aren't always the right decision. Uh, but we're willing to back up, get more data, reassess the situation. Uh, so I hope that explains a little bit about uh, the difference between an intuitor and a sensor. Uh, next, you have thinkers and feelers, somewhat explanatory in that in decision-making situations, a thinker is going to lean towards information and data, and uh, a feeler is going to lead towards feeling. So take that in the context of a work experience. You might not be uh, suited, if you're a high feeler, for... Um, you might think you're suited for HR in some capacities you would be, but not in a scenario where you have to fire people. Uh, that would be extremely painful for a high feeler uh, to have to hurt somebody's feelings, even though it's best for the company. It's the right thing to do. It's the absolute best decision. But if it's going to hurt them or hurt their feelings, sometimes we would go against the best decision for the organization or the company uh, because of our feelings. 
I'm not I'm not picking on them I'm just trying to paint a picture of what that might look like in the work uh, environment but uh, a thinker can also on the opposite side of things often do the right thing at the expense of feelings when it's not appropriate so there's a balance in all of these you need both of these sides of every one of these uh, uh, characters in your life you need feelers in your life to balance out thinkers and thinkers in your life to balance out feelers or your company these are important things to have so that you you don't run amok over people's feelings and really alienate everybody from your company because you're all a bunch of thinkers. Uh, you need some feelers to hey, say, hey, 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 wait a minute. That's gonna make people feel like fill in the blank. So let's move on. Uh, the, the final two are uh, uh, judge, judging, perceiving. I don't really like uh, the description of either one of these because they, they don't seem to fit. Uh, think in terms of um, uh, J, judge, uh, ju is uh, 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 people who make lists. Uh, my wife is a high J. She makes lists about her lists. Uh, she will complete things and go back and add it to the list so she can cross it off. Uh, is this a bad thing? Heck no, because I'm a, I'm a low J. <laughs> So I'm moderately a little bit organized. I need, I need her to help me stay on task, stay on point, stay on productivity, get things done. High J's are the people who drive our world and get things done. Uh, they help us complete and finish things and get things done in a, in a timely manner. Uh, perceivers, other side of things. Uh, often seen and felt as a free spirit. Time is not necessarily something that they uh, feel like needs to apply to them. Again, this is not a negative thing. They are free thinkers. They are creators. They are artists. They are people who come up with some of the most beautiful and brilliant things uh, that we ever get to experience. And again, we need both of them. We need people to be creative and, 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 and be out on the edge of creativity. And we need people who are then taking that creativity and turning it into something amazing because we're being productive and we're finishing and we're getting things done. So, uh, again, very abbreviated. Uh, you, can, you can really dig into uh, your uh, personality style. Uh, I'll, I'll drop the link to take the test on my website if you haven't done it yet. Do a personality profile. And then the other thing I would challenge you to do is... Uh, uh, have your friends, family, loved ones, uh, co-workers do the same thing. And then Google how to communicate or how to relate to whatever their, uh, for instance, mine is INTJ. Uh, how do I communicate and relate to? Because we have buzzwords and things that we like to hear that help us understand things better. You can be a great communicator if you understand who you're communicating to and how they think and what kind of personality they are. Uh, the depth of this is very, uh, uh, usually very surface delivered at most companies. When you dig in heavy into this, this can change your life. It can change who you are. It can change how you relate to other people and how you understand other people. I used to think high P's, for instance, were really just broken. <laughs> I was like, how can somebody never make it anywhere on time? What is wrong with... And then I, uh, then I understood that it, that it is a personality trait uh, that uh, I totally didn't understand. Uh, and now it makes a huge difference. I understand what is great about that person or those folks who live on the high P side of things. And I value that now where I didn't before. Uh, in understanding how they think and how they function. So I challenge you in that. Uh, ask me questions always as to everything. Uh, uh, use the internet to research. There are groups for this stuff. It really, the, the, the uh, rabbit hole is really, really deep in this if you want to go down this road and uh, really understand what your personality profile is all about. As always, share it with a friend that could use this. Have fun with it. Relate with your family in a different way and talk about this over dinner. Be sure to share this with somebody who maybe is making some big life decisions. Somebody who's stuck, 
uh, somebody who's in life transition, somebody who is really seeking more from their life. Those are ideal candidates for a life plan, but there are people who would be very hungry for this material. Share this with them and see, hopefully, that it'll help them in uh, making life decisions, uh, to make better decisions, so that as they move forward, they can move forward intentionally and live their best life.